Hi guys, today I will talk to you about how to migrate data from the VMware cluster to uh, the OpenStack or infrastructure. It's very easy and I will just, I will first of all not show you the principle, okay? Here I have my VMware cluster, okay? Where I have my AS68 uh, nodes, hypervisors, and uh, on those hypervisors I have a different virtual machine, okay? So I intend to migrate or move those virtual machine or those data from this environment to my OpenStack environment. This OpenStack environment can be a performer, uh, it can be open source or OpenStack environment, cloud, private cloud, or it can be a, a private cloud or powered by Red Hat or team, okay? So it can be both case, uh, but at the end of the, of the day, it's the same uh, OpenStack platform. Okay, it is, the main difference is that that uh, we have the licenses, the li licensed uh, platform of the Red Hat OpenStack platform. Okay, so what I intend to do is to migrate data from VM VM virtual machine from here to here. Okay, so let's go back to my environment. I'll show you my environment. I will, I will connect first to the this VMware infrastructure. Okay, I will. Uh, Export the OVF okay data okay, from this infrastructure, and after that, I will move it on this Latula node. It can be a, on a Linux uh, infrastructure or a Linux node, and from there, I will convert this OVF for, uh, data from VMware to an image, okay, Cupo two uh, image, and uh, from after once this one has been done, I can uh, take this image to my OpenStack infrastructure as a new image for my uh, private cloud. And once done that, I can be able to start a new uh, instance or new virtual machine here in OpenStack. So let's do that rapidly. Mm, okay, here I have my uh, VMware infrastructure, okay. I am on, on only one node, but uh, it's not a uh, mandatory can be, or you can be on VF, VMware this center, which gathered many ESCC nodes. Okay, so from there, you can have many virtual uh, machine. And let's suppose that I would like to export this particular virtual machine from this uh, VMware infrastructure to, in a, to OpenStack. Very simple, first of all, here, for, here is the node. I will shut down the node. Okay, let's keep going. So let me take it. Power off those nodes, this node. Okay. Once done, I can now uh, export this node. Export um, as OVF. Let's go back here. I export it simply. Just wait a moment. Time for us to retrieve all data to my local machine. Okay. That I can download it. So let me show you the folder area. Okay. Uh, so this use case is the very, very simplest uh, use case that we have can do it in manual use case. All those things can be automated. Okay. So right now I'm doing all this one manually. Just to show you that all those one uh, as we, uh, in our site for the production version or for our customers, this uh, action has been automated for for the production environment. Okay, but I'm showing it. I'm showing you how we do, can do it manually, step by step. Okay. So. Just wait a moment. So here I can you can see your yes, 
12 gig of, of, uh, of size, okay, this size, but of the real size, it's uh, around 2 gig, okay, uh, of, uh, of the real size of this VMDK. Just because when you create your, you was create, you were creating this uh, meeting, you use all the thing provisioning, okay. So uh, the state has been allocated dynamic uh, from uh, depending on how you use of the virtual this virtual meeting, the data will be a point of right? infrastructure. Yeah, okay, so but now I'm done. All data has been successfully uh, downloaded, okay, here. And now I will move this information, this data from uh, my local machine node to the remote nodes. Okay, so I will move it here. I have a download it. I will move it here to a particular node here where I can convert it simply. Okay, so I will move it somewhere where I have a KVM install or a little bit install or where I have the B2V tool installed to convert to convert this particular OVF uh, data uh, to an uh, Kiko 2 data. Okay, or image. So let's do that. Well, move, I'll send it. Send it. I'll uh, send all the those data. So I already prepared the command. I will send first of the VMDK. I want to move it uh, in this uh, folder. I have a folder that I have already prepared. Okay, Just a moment. Let's. Okay, let's move the second file. I'm doing very step, step by step okay, for some guys to be a uh, kind of time consuming, but it is a uh, have to do that. Ah, sorry. Oh, sorry, I missed something. And um, next steps, let me check that uh, everything is there. Mm, okay, great. So everything is there. Now I write to convince, converse this uh, data with the real to be a command. I will just convert uh, this OVF uh, data for, to an image. Okay. It's the very simplest way to do that. I don't want to go in much in detail, but uh, as I want to make this uh, testing very short, it will take you take your time. But if you want more detail about how to do to do that or in your production environment, you can let us some comment or some more message or some email. It will be uh, very hard to keep back to that so uh, this the process in detail. Okay. Here I'm using the, the commander uh, V2V, okay, but you can use also the OVF tool to do that uh, fastly. It's up to you, okay. Okay, great. So your this one uh, let me list uh, this list. Um Trinity, let me let me let's list the contents 
of where the data has been the, the image is here okay simply so now let's move let's uh, go ahead i have moved now to upload this image okay i can say this uh, like it, it will be the equivalent of iso uh, file okay i will have to upload this one in my open stack platform okay so let me first show you my here is my open stack platform i have uh, no image at the moment okay at this moment no image i will import i import this image here in my locally with a glance uh, command or open stack or image imports the comments up to you so here i will do it uh, with this comment uh, this command Okay, so this plans I can use all the open stack command or the, the unified open stack command that I hear um, I would like to use this one. Okay, just for import. And uh, once done that, the image name will be uh, 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 this name in my uh, infrastructure. Okay, so let me do that. The import is ongoing. Great, okay. Uh, let me check it out here. Okay, great. So the image now is right now is uh, zero. The next steps we enhance the image is zero. Now the sky is just a limit. It's up to you to do to see how you want to use all this image in your infrastructure. Okay. So the next step for me is I will do I will do the next uh, the much more simplest way to have my uh, instance start started in my environment okay first of all i will create a new volume based on this image okay i will just create the same name create the volume and uh, once the, this volume has been created let me list it here okay, just wait a moment times will be uh, created Okay, next step. Uh, once the volume has been created, I can now start a new instance based on this particular volume. Okay. I will say uh, 22. Yeah, 2022. Up to me. Next. Um, yeah. And uh, the flavor, I will use this one as flavor. And uh, let's launch it. So I have to go back in the instance. Let's see what's happening. Does it start? Yeah, great. Okay, so it's the browsing information. We just we just have to wait. Just have to wait the time for the instance to be. Okay. So it is very easy uh, when you have the correct procedure to do it. And uh, I would like to let you know that uh, this command can be, uh, could be slightly different depending on the type of operating system that you want to migrate to, my, to the OpenStack environment. Okay. It will be slightly different for uh, Red Hat, uh, Debian, and so on. It will depend on the different type of operating system. Okay. But uh, I'm, uh, in this demo, I will just will show you the use case of uh, Ubuntu, okay, uh, VM migration in, in the in to OpenStack environment, okay.
right here it is just it seems to be starting just because network okay because it's the same network so we have first of all to start up the node and I have that in the proper cover environment okay just as well Okay, great. So let me test for. Okay. And um, wonderful. Okay, so thank you very much. This is finished for the, this uh, particular demo. And uh, I hope that you, you appreciate it. And uh, do not hesitate to let ask some comments or please like share and comment on this video this help us to to do more to share you to you more content if you have some particular use cases for your company also don't hesitate to to send us some email and i will be very glad to answer your question thank you very much and bye from now take care